関西の largest city 大阪大阪ステーション which boasts the largest number of passengers in JR West is located in the center of Umeda the city's largest downtown area and business district not only are short distance trains medium distance trains and limited express trains arriving and departing frequently in various directions but it is also a major terminal connected to three lines of Hanshin, Hankyu and Osaka Metro lines. Hanshin department store greenery has increased a little. I came to this pedestrian deck three years ago. This is my favorite place in Japan. It's spacious and cool and makes me feel like I've come to Meda. I filmed the video of Osaka station three years ago. This time, I will mainly introduce what I didn't film at that time, and I will also introduce the history of Osaka. It seems that the Osaka Maru building will be demolished soon, but the greening has already started. Here is the center of South Side Station building. There is a water clock that tells the time with water droplets. Selected as one of the 12 most beautiful watches in the world. Amazing! There is also a prayer room. I saw it for the first time in my life. This is the first installation by JR. Because there are many foreigners. Well, the history of Osaka is very long, old, and deep. Still, it has always been a central figure in Japanese history. Already in the Kofun period, Emperor Nintoku established his palace in Namba. It was an international trading port where immigrants arrived from across the sea. It was also in Osaka that Buddhism was first introduced. It was the port from which envoys to the Sui and Tang dynasties departed and returned. Also, during the Asuka period and the Nara period, the capital was temporarily placed in Namba. After that, sediment piled up in the port of Namba and it ceased to function as a port. And the position of the international port moved to Hyogo. I'm on the north side of the station. There was Umeda Freight Station here until 2013, but the site is being redeveloped as the Umekita area. Grand Front Osaka has been developed as the first phase, and development of Grand Green Osaka is progressing as the second phase. Scheduled to open in 2027. Now there is only the entrance to the underground platform. There is a woman. This is a work of art made out of sand. Her name is Falling Object, the Sand Woman. Eyelashes are long when viewed from the side. I've been told that my eyelashes are long too, but I think that her eyelashes are. False. There is a green bear in the artificial pond, constantly spouting water from his mouth. The elaborate artificial pond and the murmuring of the water are comfortable. Osaka is a city of water. Osaka, which prospered in ancient times, next appeared on the stage of history during the Warring States period. Renyo, who revived Jodo Shinshu Buddhism, built a temple at the tip of the Uemachi Plateau, the place where Ishiyama Honganji Temple used to be called Osaka, is the origin of the name Osaka today. Oda Nobunaga continued to attack Ishiyama Honganji for more than 10 years because this land was an absolutely indispensable place to unify the country. Although it was finally captured, Nobunaga died at Honnoji Temple in 
leaving Toyotomi Hideyoshi to succeed him. Hideyoshi built a magnificent castle on the site of Honganji, that's Osaka Castle. At that time, it was the largest castle in the world. He gathered daimyos and merchants under his command, built a castle town, and developed Osaka, which suddenly it became the center of politics and economy. This is the second golden age of Osaka. However, the castle town of Osaka was devastated by the siege of Osaka in 1615 and was almost reduced to ashes. The Edo shogunate placed great importance on Osaka, military territory and direct control, arranged water transport, and made it possible to gather goods from all over the country. Daimyos began to set up storehouses here in order to transport annual tax rice and other items. The town of Osaka became known for its many bridges and waterways. Osaka came to be called the kitchen of the world and prospered. This is Osaka's third golden age. The second golden age was due to Hideyoshi, and the third golden age was due to the Edo shogunate. It was around this time that the culture of food, which is said to be eating to death, and the culture of comedy that continues to this day, were born and nurtured. By the way, until the middle of the Edo period, the kanji for saka in Osaka was different. Since it is associated with death, a different kanji has been used. The new Meiji government officially used the new kanji, so it became popular among the general public. In 1874, the railway opened between Osaka and Kobe. The name Umeda comes from the fact that it was filled with rice fields, and at that time Osaka Station was far from the center of town and was surrounded by rice fields. A canal was dug from Umeda to Dojima, the center at that time, and was connected by water transportation. Hey, Pichon kun from Daikin Industries. It's been a long time. You were there three years ago, too. The location of Osaka Station is very convenient for the extension railway to Kyoto, and it can be said that it was a fourth site because it was not a terminal type, but a passing type. In 1925, Osaka surpassed Tokyo in terms of population and became the largest city in Japan assuring in the area of Greater Osaka. It was Fourth Golden Age. From now on, I'd like to head to the new underground platform that has become a new speciality of Osaka Station. It is now the hottest area in the Kansai Railway world. This is the West Ticket Gate. It is one of the two ticket gates that were newly installed to match the new underground platform on the opposite side of the Yotsubashi Suji from the Sakurabashi exit. The Umekita underground platform is the Umeda freight line that has been moved to an underground route. As a result, the Limited Express Haruka heading to Kansai Airport, the Limited Express Kuroshio connecting Wakayama, and Osaka Higashi Line connecting Nara which didn't stop at Osaka Station until now, will now arrive and depart. You can now get on the Haruka and Kuroshio train from Osaka Station, which you couldn't get on unless you went all the way to Shin Osaka or Tennoji. As a result, it has become a very innovative underground platform that significantly improves convenience when traveling in Osaka and Kansai. The pillars of the concourse symbolize that Osaka is a city of water. Also, it is inspired by many bridges in Osaka. Shinsai Bashi, Yodoya Bashi, Tsuruhashi, Yotsubashi, Abenobashi. The list goes on and on, but Osaka and the bridges are inextricably linked. 
I think it's a very correct approach to look for concepts, themes, and motifs in the history of the area when designing something. Even so, aren't there many pillars? The new underground platform is connected to the existing platform at Osaka Station by an underground passage of about 70 meters. There is a tremendous waterproof door on the way. What is the situation when they use this? I think it's a pretty bad situation. I came to the area inside the ticket gate just above the new underground platform. I thought I would have walked more, but I got the impression that I arrived relatively early. From here, it's already a different space that makes you feel the future. Feel like you're at an amusement park attraction. This is awesome future. But come to think of it, this is public transportation area that even the elderly ones use. Such people may feel that they have come to an unexpected place. I wonder what my father and my mother would think when they come here. I can see them just being silent and still. A 3D touch panel that floats the screen is adapted for guidance by AI. I didn't have the courage to use it. Umekita underground platform has two platforms and four tracks. There are numbers 21 to 24. You can freely change the opening position so it can be used for trains with different door positions. That's amazing. However, it is charming that it is currently only installed at platform 21. A signage that displays train information is also installed on this platform door. If you install the West Japan app called Wester on your smartphone, a mark that identifies you will be displayed on the signage. And you can move along the personal identification marks on the signage everywhere in the station without looking at the smartphone screen. Oh, it's been a great time. Kuroshio over the full screen is cool. It's very fresh that the next station is Nishikujo. If I get lost at the station, I usually ask the station staff. I often hear that the old Japanese National Railway's employees were arrogant. In the essay by Shiba Ryotaro, it was written as follows. When he asked where the exit was, the station attendant didn't look at him and pointed the direction with his chin. It was so stately and splendid. Now is the time when AI guides you instead of station staff. Ah, oh, the car stopped much earlier than expected. This is embarrassing. Haruka stops at Osaka station. So emotional. Foreigners from Kansai International Airport and tourists going to Nankishirahama are conspicuous on the new underground platform, but there are many users of the Osaka Higashirai, which embodies the deep Osaka. They are the people who normally use this new and cool station where cutting-edge technology is gathered for commuting to work or school. Even at Shin Osaka Station, the Osaka Higashirai ran into a slightly luxurious and beautiful platform for limited express trains. It may be my impression that the Osaka Higashirai is given preferential treatment, but it's a little interesting that the high school students and housewives use it as a matter of course. It's a very eye-catching design. 
There is a face authentication gate at the Umekita exit ticket gate. Two way traffic is possible. If you have a commuter pass between Osaka and Shin Osaka, you can use it by sending a photo taken with the Uesta app. There is also a locker where you can order and receive Kostoko products using the app. Development of the Umekita area had just begun. The underground platform of this station opened in March 2023, but the surrounding station buildings are scheduled to be developed step by step from now on. The landscape on the ground will change dramatically. In 2031, it is planned that the Nambasuji line will run through this platform. It is a route that goes straight south through the city of Osaka without going through the loop line. At that time, the Nankai train will also be on board. Anyway, in the age of declining birth rate and aging population, development continues strongly. I'm looking forward to the future. <laughs>